good and plenty. I was born weak. Take me to church. All right, I gotta get Scott D's tape measure out, and I'm so sorry. What's up, bunch of tools? Also, is that also? It is so absolutely funny. You're the first. Well, you. I haven't seen you on here in months. But the first person on here, man. What's up, Ben? I'm actually gonna talk about Asso. I think he's in with those guys. I talked about it yesterday. Uh, pretty quick. Yeah, Asso. What's up, buddy? Um, yeah, so we're going to do a giveaway, but if you haven't seen, or if you haven't looked, um, my buddies, and again, I don't mention them too much, but, uh, they're, they're cool guys, man, they're, like I said, and also, you know, he, he, you know, these guys kind of do a lot of the hand tool type stuff, uh, you know, wrenches and ratchets and stuff like that, but, um, my man md lee hard knocks forge um i think also is involved in it is a couple guys but they're doing something really cool and marco's tools yeah I'm, i i don't i that's the one thing i don't get is that marco's yeah at marco's tools yeah great great thing they're do that they're doing what they're doing is, you know, they're... Hey, how's it going? Bronx Birdman, Alex, Alice, T. Webb, Brian Fuller, Dennis Culet, Nick Shane. But they're doing this great thing where there's um, people in the community who have, you know, under a 1,000 views. If you're not familiar, if you have under a 1,000 subscribers, I mean, um, you can't monetize your channel and stuff like that so they're trying to help the other who are, you know struggling to maybe get to that point um and stuff like that uh to get to that thousand th uh, threshold they're doing like a giveaway and stuff like that for you to subscribe to them just really cool uh yeah just search marco's tools marco's tools <laughs> yeah hashtag marco's tools but really cool just um you know helping these and you know it's all original content guys you know they're all great channels that they're kind of trying to hook up you know that's what makes it good when you're doing original content and trying to spread the word and let people know about these other channels that are you know in the tool community and stuff like that um it's 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 a real nice thing and those are the guys that put together that Christmas um, little video. They're just real cool. You know, they love tools. Um, MD Lee, Hard Knocks Forge, like love it to the core. And, you know, anything to help somebody out, anything to kind of just share their passion. And, again, they do original stuff. I know Hard Knocks does some open, like, fan mail. Again, it's just... You know, and MD Lee does, you know, something very similar. And he's always reviewing some, you know, new wrench or, or screwdrivers and stuff like that. Just, just awesome. So I wanted to give them a little, you know, shout. Um, you know, yeah, exactly. Top of the morning. Mike's Tool Shed jumped in the action also. Yeah. Well, Mike's Tool Sheds, yeah, he's got a lot of subs now. Um, yeah, him too. He's uh, he's got a, a lot of good stuff going on 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 his channel, and you know what? You know, I I, I don't watch him too much. Um, even you know, um, what the heck's his name, the Snap On guy there. You know, very he's he's very original. He talks about you know, no one's doing. He he kind of started his thing, and um, you know, talking about the snap-on tools and stuff like that, and he brings you into his garage and stuff like that. The junkie. I thought he changed his channel, though. I thought I was looking for him, I thought, the other couple days ago, and I couldn't find him. 
but it's awesome and they're doing some good stuff so so check them out and you know support the guys that are doing original content small subs try to get to that threshold so they can continue doing what they're doing but in the meantime like i promised at the milwaukee day event from the home depot and where the hell's my coffee but doing a little giveaway here and, and i i threw in i'm gonna throw in a uh ryobi tape measure i like these very much uh, and i figured it'd be great to um talk about that stuff uh you know the two for 9.99 just an absolute stunner. I think they're fourteen ninety nine now. I, I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know what happened to him, man. Real tool reviews. I don't know what's going on. I used to love that tool craze, man, but I don't see him do too many videos anymore either. I guess you get your web page going. I don't know if Real Tool Review has a, a web page, but um, you know. It seems like uh, I, that's what Tool Craze kind of got into the the. Uh, what's up, Nicholas? I guess he has a, he has a real good web page too. No one's pay. I don't know what's up, man. He has. I don't know how you have a hundred thousand subs, and he, he should be doing some. Well, maybe you know you don't fall in love with it. You know that's the thing, and uh, you know you, you kind of get into it. You you build a good following, and you just have different passions maybe in life. Yeah, Tool Craze was good. Original. Uh, original, you know, stuff. I know your buddies with those VCG guys. Definitely doing your thing. Yeah, I talked about that, uh, Alice, already. You know, listen. It's just YouTube, man. I mean, as people are going to do... they like If people see you having success... They're going to mimic what you do to get views. It's just, it, it happens in every aspect of life. You know, there's, you know, shortcuts that it's just, you know, we, there's nothing you can do, man. They're going to do it. And, you know, when it's the only thing that kind of, you know, I, I talked to, to him, those those guys, great guys, um, you know, very, very, nice guys don't get me wrong but um you know we talked after the milwaukee event and you know giving them you know the, the, they should bring that construction part of it they gotta he runs a very successful company and i said i'd love to see the construction part of what's going on with you guys you know what's going on with vcg construction what are you working on what are you doing? Let's let's see some of that. But, you know, people are going to do what they want to do. And, you know, when it's a part that's working for you, it's hard not to do it. It's, it's very simple. But anyway, all right, so this is what we talked about at the Milwaukee Day event. Um, my man, Sean Perry Benjamin, was nice enough to do donate this beautiful Milwaukee shirt. Um, I got a couple of them in the past, so hopefully every time he has an event, I can grab one of these and give it to you guys. Because it's, I understand it's hard. I, Chris Jones, I would love for you to win it. Now, Chris Jones has been following me from the beginning, man. From the beginning, when I had like 100 subs, probably. And I don't think he's ever won anything from me. So, I'm going to make Chris Jones a deal. If he doesn't win this, I will personally... Have Sean Perry Benjamin give me two shirts, and I will send you one. But we got one of these uh, Milwaukee uh, markers here. Awesome. The Inkzall Fine Point 48-22-3100. Um, put his name in 30 times. Winning is just a bonus. What's up, Antonio? Um, bunch of tools. They do some tool stuff, kind of like boys, but boys. Yeah, that's cool. Luke, that's awesome. No, not a big deal, man. Um, VCG, they are. 
Yeah, they're they're cool, man. They're really down. They're they're from this area uh, where I'm at. They're like uh, New York City boys. Um, but they they do some good stuff. Uh, but anyway, so you get this exhaust pen, great to write on concrete, wood, roofing, anything like that. We're gonna throw one of them in. My man Sean Perry Benjamin. I grabbed one of these hats for you people, um, over at the Bear side of the Home Depot Pro event. Of course, DeWalt didn't have anything for me to grab, except attitude from Allison. No, nah, she was very nice. She's new. But Bear had a, had a hat, so we're gonna throw one of these hats in there. I'm telling you, very nice hat, man. Very, um, you know, it's not really chintzy, man. It, it's you got a little, look at this, a little cardboard cut out in there. You can kind of, curve it to make it gangster or actually gangster isn't gangster like with the flat bill you can go gangster but you're gonna get one of them you're gonna get a pen and i i bought a couple of these when they were 9.99 a couple of these packs and scott d i promise you this week i will get this out and scott d was nice enough he sent me over a tape measure also snap back a nah JV, nice shirt, my man looking out and trying to get tool supply to throw in, but they never have. Yeah, Sean's got a lot of good stuff. I'll even get you a pen, Chris Jones. But please win. So I don't have to do that. But, yeah. Oh, thank you, Alice. Steven Grafman. Hey, what's up, man? Good morning to you. Top of the, top of the morning to you. But like I said, uh, I th you know, it's funny. So I, I, I probably bought 40s, four packs of the two-pack. And I remember the lady at the register like, whoa. I'm like, yeah, um, I'm buying them for my people. He's like, oh, okay. Because I, 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 so I bought everyone that was on the rack. What's up, Dow Gentry? Um, but yeah, so anyway, you'll get one of these. So you kind of got some good swag here. I'm going to throw in the Ryobi tape measure. You got a nice hat. You're going to be styling in with your new Milwaukee shirt. And then you can kind of clip your new Exol pen to your Milwaukee shirt, you know, while you're getting down or, you know, put it in your back pocket. But I thought it'd be pretty cool. I promised you I'd do, I would uh, do it. Um, today's Sunday. How about next Saturday night? We uh, will pick the winner and we'll have some fun giving away this. All you got to do is comment under this video, and um, you'll be entered. Real simple. Uh, I, I got to do something on Instagram. Uh, I want to do a giveaway on there. Uh, a couple people, you know, we do all this YouTube. Us on Instagram, we're always missing out. So I got to come up with something for Instagram also. Um, and then we got the uh, Toolboss44.net one that we're, we're doing too. I think that's like April 15th. And uh, where we got the Tool Boss 15,000 subscriber giveaway. I want that damn shirt. Yeah, I can. I mean, these are great because I can kind of get these from Sean. I mean, not that easily, but at this probably like my third shirt. And, you know, and he's very generous and cool. And check out Sean Perry Benjamin on Instagram. He, if you're into boots. I got to work on that truck. Yeah, it's just yesterday we were starting, you know, we had a lot of snow. I, I did the snow and steak video just to show how much snow we still have here. And the 10 day forecast, not getting out of the 40s. And, um, you know, I still got to do my trailer build inside. And, you know, we're just going to have to get out there freezing our, our, our nutties off. Tool guy, Ty, what's up? Oscar Lopez, what's up? Mike Tone, good morning to you. I'm surprised so many people are on in the morning. Boss, I need to eat some veggies. I do. I Every time there's a storm, man, I don't know, just being out. You know what it is? You're inside with the, the heat, and then you're out there for like 48 hours, you know, when you're doing the snow removal stuff. Um, you know, on and off, just out in the cold, and you're getting wet. I get sick as a dog. This one was big because I ended up, I was sick for like a week, and I was feeling better. Like, I was sick for like two days, but not even like that bad. Just like sniffly and 
you know, like a little bit of a head cold, a little bit of a sore throat, but it got better. Then it came back, and when it came back, gangbusters, man. Like, coughing up, like, green slime and brown mucous membranes. And I knew we needed some antibiotic. Yeah, beautiful Montreal. Not here. It's 26 degrees right now. It's still early. I mean, the sun was, when this, yesterday it was like 40 degrees, but with the sun it was a, Felt good. But, you know, in the morning, it's still kind of overcast and stuff. So, Big Ken, New Jersey. What's up, bud? What part of NJ are you from, Big Ken? Weird weather, cutting grass. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Fords, uh, my man Kevin uh, from Fall River and uh, a lot of these other dudes I watch on uh, the, the lawn care side of it. I mean, they've been mowing for a month. I mean, I, Dow Gentry's on here. He's in Tennessee. I mean, month, six weeks. They're doing cleanups, mowing. They got music playing in the background. 33 in Nebraska. Cold, cloudy, and rain coming. Weather's like a teenage girl. Can't make up a goddamn mind. <laughs> That's great. 34 in Maine. 71 in Houston. Starlight, I'm coming. Uh, that's where my man Tool Guy Ty is from. Uh, I think he's from Dallas. Dallas or Houston, I don't know. Dale Hicks, what's up? You over in PA? Yeah, so you know what I'm talking about, man. Yeah, cold weather all week. And then Ruben has to come in, 77 in Naples. Nice. Very nice, Ruben. Always know how to cheer a guy up there. Yeah, Lon, I know. Well, they had the hurricane over there. 55 in Memphis with Working Hands. And Working Hands is doing some good stuff. Let me tell you. Another dude, I'm going to mention that in there, working hands, he's been following me, um, what's up, what size is the shirt, Brian, it's probably a large or an extra large, I kind of just don't want to, I'll, I'll, I'll find out, and if it's not your size, I'll, get, I'll throw in a, a Toolboss t-shirt, and then I can give this to Chris, but, um, yeah, I see Working Hands is doing, he's getting really good with the content, man. Uh, doing some auto repair vids, and then he's, just some good stuff, man. Check out uh, Working Hands. I think he's almost got 100 subs now. That's awesome. Working Hands needs an extra large. China large or U.S. large? Wow. That, I don't know where t-shirts are, aren't it like t-shirts made in like Vietnam, mostly? Vietnam or what's the other country over there? Malaysia or something like that. But the hat, I can guarantee, is from China. Oh, yeah. But, hey, what is it? Thailand, there you go. The grass is all twitchy, switchy, the snow melt. Yeah, man. But that's about it, folks. So, 12-year-old boy size large. No, no. I got... I'm, I'm a large. And uh, I definitely rock with one of these. It could be an extra large, though. I'll, I'll find out for you. Uh, but, all right. So, that's it, guys. Real quick. Um, yeah, so check out um, Marco's Tools. Is that right? Budget Tools. Marcos, Tools, again, Hard Knocks, MD Lee, um, also says Mike's uh, Tool Shed's involved. Great. Bring back to the to the smaller guys out there. Check out Working Hands and all you other guys. Chris Jones has a channel. Uh, I haven't seen Chris Jones do a video in a couple months. Budget Tools, I, I, I see a video from him like every year. So, but yeah, man. And, you know, feel free to put your... Hey, Dad, what's up? I was just talking about you in Tennessee over there. Feel free if you have a channel, if you want to put it... You know what? It, and any type of link, it doesn't show up. It, it kicks it out. So I, everything in my spam thing... Yeah, Scott, yeah, if you missed that, I mentioned you in the beginning. I'm going to get yours out first thing tomorrow morning. I just forget. I forget I owe Scott D a tape measure. As soon as I came down here, I'm like, I know I owe somebody one of these. So, I got a few videos planning to get them done before. Yeah, man. 
until before the end of the year. All right, so that's it. And then we'll be announcing the 15,000 uh, subscriber video soon. I still need like seven or 800 subs. So or when we get to around 500 left, uh, we'll kick it off. Budget tools, we just started the year. Got the Milwaukee 6. Yeah, isn't it great? I got one here. This is what I'm giving away, Chris, for the... Um, the toolboss44.net, you're going to get these and a pack of reset blades. You know, these are 25 bucks for this. And the blades, it's a good $50 value, pretty close to, um, for the toolboss44.net Easter, we'll call it, giveaway. Yeah, these, these are the bomb. Um, you know, I'll, I'll do a review video when we get closer, but... Really nice, both sides covered. Uh, they bend nice, but they don't crinkle, they don't crease. Um, that's the number one problem that I have with tape measures. Um, and I'm sure you guys have the same issue just after a while. You know, that the wall 16 foot, and it's not their top line, so I, I don't want to mention it too much, but I do mention it. That's what I like about the, this, these Ryobis. I mean, for five bucks. I mean, even if you're paying $14.99 for the two-pack, what's it, $7.50 a piece? Um, you know, they're just pretty damn, they're nice. And they're much like, this is a 25 and that's a 25. So if you need to rock with something on your tool belt for the day, I mean, this, this thing's heavy as hell. This is like, you have a bowling ball on half side of your ass, you know? Or a, you know, you got like a, a filing cabinet under half side of your ass when you got this hanging from your belt this real nice light compact you know, if you know most of the time I, I just keep them right in my damn pocket because i don't really wear belts too much but this thing's a monster man you know you're gonna try to get that in there they're clearing them out by me the ryobi or the milwaukee i don't think they're clearing these out this is a new um um I don't think they're doing an update to the tape measure. And this is something you're always going to find in the store. Um, they might have been offering, I think, something during the holidays, some type of deal, though. Maybe you got one for free or something with a kit. Very true. Ryobi, my, yeah, these things are sold out. I'm glad I bought a couple packs because now I can throw them in. They're small, but they're heavy. So, that wasn't the smartest thing. But, alright, so, that's it. Just comment underneath this video to enter to win this. We'll do it next Saturday night. So, everybody's around. And, um, check out the guys I said. Especially, uh, I think it's on MD Lee's channel. Um, they're doing some good things. Uh, helping spread the word about these guys. Um, and Pat Clark Barnes, he was on there Yes, I'm trying to think of the guys that roll with that crew. And Tool Guy Ty on Instagram, he goes. Yeah, man. So, uh, that's it, guys. I will catch you on the flip. Maybe t tonight I'll be around at some point. But we'll, we'll talk to you on the flip.